Hi girls, I am Dr. Yes Vanitha, Assistant Professor of Zoology, PG and Research Department of Zoology, Radium College for Women, Autonomous, Nagapatina. Uh, today discuss about the origin of vertebrates. Uh, first one is introduction. A vertebrate is an animal that has a backbone and a skeleton. Uh, vertebrate animals include humans. When you think about vertebrates, uh, think about bones. This word has to do with animals that have a lot of bones. In the form of a skeleton, it especially refers to animals with a backbone which protects their spinal cord. Uh, vertebrates are differentiated by having a vertebral column. As carbids, all vertebrates have a similar anatomy and the morphology with the same qualifying characteristics. A notochord, a dorsal halo nerve cord, pharyngeal sleeve, and a post adal tail. Uh, origin of vertebrates. Vertebrates are animals with the spinal cords and the bony or cartilaginous backbone, including all mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. The vertebrates consist of all the taxa within the subphylum vertebrata, uh, cardates with the backbones, and represent the overwhelming majority of the phylum cardata, uh, with the currently about 69,000. 963 species described. Uh, vertebrates comprises a such a group as the following jawless fish, which include catfish and lampreys, jawed vertebrates, which included cartilaginous fish, for example, shark, rays, and ratfish, bony vertebrates, which included. Ray fin, the majority of living pony fishes. Low fin, which included sea lantern and lungfish tetrapods. For example, lim limbed vertebrates. Uh, this is the fossil skeleton of uh, vertebrates, characteristic of vertebrates. In biology, a vertebrate is defined as a animal that has all of the following characteristics at some point in its lifetime. A stiff rod running the length of the animal, vertebral column and notochord depending on the species. All vertebrates including humans and all other vertebrates are born with a notochord which eventually develop into the vertebral column. The alimentary canal is located below the vertebral column and is connected to it by a bundle of nerves, the spinal cord. The mouth of the animal is located at the anterior portion of the animal's body or directed below it. The alimentary canal comes to a close at the anus, which is the opening to the outside world. The tail is a continuation of the anus. Then, classification of vertebrates. Vertebrates are divided into seven groups based on the anatomically and physiologically characteristics of the body. They are as follows. Uh, mammal. First one is mammal. Class mammalia. Organism belonging to this. Uh, class have the ability to regulate the body temperature regardless of the temperature of the surrounding environment. As a result, mammals are referred to an endothermic animal, which includes human and platypus among others. Second one, birds. Birds are dinosaurs. At least from a biological standpoint, uh, feathers, teethless, beaks, and a rabbit metabolic rate distinguish this group of organisms from the rest of the animal kingdom. Furthermore, members of the avian class lay eggs with a hard shell. Then, reptiles. Class Reptilia. 
for example snakes crocodiles tartarus and turtles are examples of the tetrapods which include a variety of the tetrapods reptiles are characterized by the fact that they are ectothermic in their natural environment snakes are still classified as tetrapods uh, despite the fact that they have no visible limbs this is due to the fact that the snakes descended from ancestors who had limbs as a previously stated then amphibians class amphibia amphibia are ectothermic tetrapods that included frogs toads and salamanders among others the breeding behavior of amphibian distinguishes them from reptiles and serve as a distinctive characteristic because their eggs are shellless most amphibians require a body of water in order to reproduce furthermore they have through a process known as metamorphosis in which the young one transform from a fully aquatic larval form complete with the gill and fins to a fully aquatic adult form then pony fishes the skeleton of this group of fishes is primarily composed of bone rather the cartilage which distinguishes them from other fishes such as sharks uh, is the last class of vertebrates on the planet today and it is also the oldest then hardly genus fishes at the name of implies the hardly genus skeleton is what distinguishes this class of organism shark rays scared and the shark fishes are among the group of membranes a few sharks such a massive green greenland shark can live for hundreds of years or even decades in 2016 a specimen with a transmission medium was discovered to be at least 273 years old next jawless fishes there are have been no significant changes in these very primitive fishes since they were discovered in fossils records millions of years ago in addition uh, to having a circular mouth with no jaw they also have row of small sharp teeth uh, that they help them hold and the feed on their fish the majority of the members of this class are parasites are scavenger in nature vertebrates indocument and its derivatives the indocument for example is any secretion made by an organism to cover itself or the cell membrane in unicellular organisms like bacteria or protozoa in contrast the indocument in vertebrate is made up of on different derived components including hair feathers and scales among the notable changes that have taken place during the course evolution is the development in vertebrates of a variety of plants pigmentary structures scales leaves nails corn feathers and hair as adaptation to the changing environment Uh, what does the indocumentary system do 
fatty layer production, production of against the infection, production with the sweat, fatty layer production, production against the infection, metabolism and secretion. Overall, the endocrinal system functions to guard the uh, body, providing a barrier to infection and shielding the body against temperature changes and the adverse effect and potentially harmful substances uh, such as UV light. The endocrinal system has many specific roles in its involvement in helping to protect the regulate the body's internal functions. Uh, here are some ways that the skin, uh, nails, hair, glands and nerves of the endocrinal system works. Uh, helps to protect the body's uh, body tissue and organs uh, protect against the infections and foreign invaders. Uh, then keeps the body from becoming dehydrated uh, by storing water. Uh, helps to maintain a stable body temperature. Uh, transport and get rid of waste material. Perform a receptor job for pressure. Pain. Heat. Hold or touch, then store fat for a source of energy. Protect the body from trauma and serves as a shock absorber uh, due to the fatty layer of the intercommunitary system. Protect the skin from damage caused by UV light from the sunlight. And then fatty layer production. The fatty layer of the skin helps protect against the derma to help underlying tissue and organs by serving as a shock absorber, covering some of the impact of some type of injuries. Uh, then production against the infection. The skin creates an acidic pH environment in which microorganisms find the end difficult to grow, therefore protecting from infection. Uh, then production with the sweat. Uh, sweat from the sweat gland prevent and over growth of microorganisms on the skin by producing a substance called the dermicidin which is an anti-infective agent and it has uh, natural antibiotic properties. Then production from injury. The skin is made up of a very uh, tough type of production protein called keratin that is the primary type of skin in the outmost layer the epidermis. Keratin helps protect the tissue, organs and the structure from injuries like guts, ratchets, uh, abrasions. Then metabolism. Skin metabolism is the rate at which new skin cells turn over. Uh, this occurs between the epidermal and the terminal cells that works together to regulate collagen production and repair UV light damage, aging and other damage caused by to the skin. Uh, then secretion. The skin is responsible for excreting various substances. Uh, they are including small amount of carbon dioxide, water, waste products. Uh, then functions of skin, uh, they are included controlling body temperature, the skin does a fantastic job of controlling body temperature and keeping it stable. Then storing of blood, the skin acts as the reservoir to store blood. 
then production, then tension, next absorption and excretion, uh, then vitamin D production, then skin glands. The glands of the skin are all the exocrine. Exocrine that is they secrete the product usually through ducts to the epidermal surface. They may be unicellular or as the low blood cells of the cells or multicellular as are the such glands of humans. The multicellular glands are tubular and extrude the secretion into a central space or human. Some like the oil producing sebaceous gland of mammals form the product by complete breakdown of the cells. A method of secretion known as holocrine. Plants may be consist of tubes or cells and they may be singular, clustered or fanged some even contains unit of more than one type. Then pigment cells. In fissures, pigment is produced by a fanged cell known as chromatophores, which can be found in both epidermis and dermis. Rabbit color changes by which some fissures can adapt to a change of background uh, is brought about by redistribution of the pigment within the cells boundaries. Slow long term changes involve alterations in the number of cells or in the amount of pigment they contain. Then epidermal scales. Epidermal scales are horny, tough, Extension of the teratum cornea. Well developed in reptiles, they are also common of exposed skin in birds and mammals. Such scales are periodically molted or shed gradually along with the rest of the teratum cornea. Epidermal scales are absent in pieces, but dermal or phony scales are abundant. Clave-like epidermal scales are present in the certain amphibians, including a few those certain salamander, uh, the so-called on cons of the pond lizard and specialized epidermal scales. Uh, and the rattle of rattle snakes is a series of pride scales loosely attached to each other. The last one always remaining despite molding of the rest of the serratum cornea. Then clave, male and hose. In many mammals, cotton, corneal growth occur at the end of the digits flowing parallel to the skin surface. Then nails found only in mammals consist of a broad and flattened angle with the sub angles reduced to a vestic under the outer tip. Cause the characteristic features of the hoofed mammals are unfluted or <coughs> Exaggregated nails with the uncuse curved all around the end of the digit and the surrounding the sub angles. Then, cons. Cons are dotted corneal projection of several types. Except for certain lizards, cons are found only in mammals. The keratin pipus con is unique to the resources. It consists of a cone, uh, cone of the keratinized cells, the growth from an epidermis covering a cluster of terminal forms uh, such as bacilla. The pipus, somewhat resembling thick hair, 
flow from the papillae and cells between the papillae produce a cement that binds the fibers together. This is a type of corn. Then feathers. Feathers are found only in birds and are formed from the epidermis in which the seratum cornea is highly specialized. Feather are light, strong, elastic, waterproof and show many color due to pigment and structural arrangement. The pigments are carotenoids and melanin. Carotenoids are frequently called lipochrome which are soluble in fat solvent like methanol, ether and carbon disulfide, carbon disulfide and insoluble in water. Animal reddish azure erythrin and animal yellowish zoanthine are the two group of carotenoids. Melanins are soluble only in acids. Eumelanin granules vary from black to dark brown and melan melanin granules may be almost colorless to reddish brown. Then hair. Hair is found only in mammals. It projects at an acute angle from the skin. Hair covers the entire intestine in most mammals. But in other, only trays are left, such as whales have only a few core cares on this now. But during development, the body of the embryos of all mammals is covered with a coating of the hair called lemingo, which is usually shed before birth and replaced by a new one. Hair is entirely epidermal in our view. Then conclusion. The vertebrates are the animal species having a vertebral column or backbone or vertebrae. These are classified into seven classes which include avid, amphibia, reptile, nasoacitite, mammalia and chondrocytes. Example of vertebrates are birds, amphibians, reptiles and fishes. Thank you. Thank you so much.